Zero Waste Arlington is proposing Article 12 to reduce single-use plastic water bottles. This is in response to increasing concerns from our community about plastic pollution and its impact on our environment. The United Nations calls it a plastic crisis. Each year, around 400 million tons of plastic is produced worldwide, and 40% of that is single use, meaning plastic that is used only one time before it's thrown out. All of that discarded plastic is destroying habitats, harming wildlife, and contaminating the food chain. Plastic is made from fossil fuels in an energy intensive process that emits greenhouse gases and hazardous chemicals. Plastic lasts virtually forever. As it degrades, it breaks down into smaller and smaller microplastics, which remain in our environment. And plastic is very difficult to recycle. Recycling rates are low to begin with. And even when it does happen, every time plastic is recycled, its quality deteriorates. So either new plastic is added to extend its life or the recycled plastic is disposed of either incinerated or landfilled after a couple of recycling rounds. We can't recycle our way out of the plastic crisis. We need to actually reduce our consumption. Single-use plastic bottles have environmental costs, including greenhouse gas emissions, at every stage of their life cycle. From the resources used to extract the water for bottling, to produce the product packaging, to transport it by truck for sale, and ultimately to manage plastic trash. Article 12 would address this by prohibiting the sale of non-carbonated water in plastic bottles of one liter or less. This would apply to any business in Arlington selling bottled water, as well as to town-owned buildings, including schools, effective November 1st, 2022. There are some exceptions. Carbonated and flavored water, like the seltzer that you see pictured here, would not be regulated by this bylaw. Containers larger than one liter are also exempt, so gallon jugs would still be allowed. And if an emergency is declared that requires bottled water, that would be exempt as well. Massachusetts residents throw away over 1 billion plastic beverage containers every year. They end up in landfills or incinerators, which create toxic emissions and pollute our air and our water. Only around 20% of these plastic bottles get recycled. The majority end up in the trash, in part because they're often consumed away from home where there may not be a convenient recycling option. And the rest end up as litter, as you can see in these local photographs. Most water bottles are made from thinner and lighter PET plastic, which makes them even more likely to blow around and become litter. All too often, plastic litter ends up in our waterways and ultimately in our oceans. Plastic is one of the leading threats to our marine ecosystems and to marine animals. This is also where a lot of degradation into microplastics occur, which get ingested by wildlife, causing them harm and ultimately getting incorporated into the food chain. Article 12 is really aimed at bringing about a culture shift. The best alternative to bottled water is tap water, and we encourage people to drink it. In restaurants, from water fountains and bottle refill stations, and by carrying refillable water bottles. And since carbonated and flavored water are exempt from this bylaw, if a customer wanted to buy a healthy non-sugar beverage, they could still purchase something like a seltzer. We got our water from the protected Quabbin and Wachusett's watersheds and reservoirs. Our water is very high quality, as well as a low cost and local resource. And this is an example of a water refill station, which are already present in most public schools as well as several public buildings. Zero Waste Arlington is launching a campaign called Arlington on Tap to promote our tap water. We're mapping out the availability of existing drinking water fountains and water refill stations, and we're reaching out to town stakeholders to explore the feasibility of adding more of these. We estimate that the largest retailers in town sell a combined 750,000 12 ounce water bottles annually. Zero Waste Arlington is also reaching out to small businesses to understand the impact this would have on them. We visited 20 small businesses to date, and most report selling one to 200 bottles a month. Losing any amount of revenue is an understandable concern for them. At the same time, there are 21 other communities in Massachusetts that have passed similar retail bans, starting with Concord in 2012. Consumers and businesses in these communities have adapted, and we think that Arlington can too. 
We also think that most consumers who go into a store to purchase bottled water will buy an alternative if one is provided to them. Stores can still sell carbonated and flavored water as well as other beverages. Article 12 is supported by Sierra Club Massachusetts, the Conservation Law Foundation, the Mystic River Watershed Association, as well as local groups like Sustainable Arlington. Voting yes for Article 12 will reduce litter. It will help reduce our town's carbon footprint and climate change impacts, protect our waterways, and show the town's continued environmental leadership. Thank you, and we are happy to take any questions that you have.